Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to Eurogamer. My name's Ian Higton, and I need one of these. Nope. One of these? Yeah, there we go. Hello, welcome. Uh, look at me. I look like I'm an, like an angel or something. Ooh, got like a wonderful halo. Uh, that's because I'm here to treat you to a gift of uh, a playthrough of the demo for Pacific Drive, which isn't actually available to the general public, as far as I can tell. It is, uh, uh, however, quite meaty, a couple of hours in length this demo is, and my hair's a bit flat at the moment, because um, I just tried this out with Prey Dog's Unreal Engine VR mod, and it works, so closer to the end of the stream, uh, because uh, you can't switch backs and forwards without closing the whole game down. Uh, closer to the end of the stream, I'll uh, I'll demonstrate it running in VR using Prey Dog's um, Unreal Engine VR mod as well. But uh, for now, I'm just going to play it in flat and enjoy this game from the very beginning, as that's where it starts. This is a game. Imagine Stalker. If you're in a beat-up station wagon somewhere in America, uh, it's a survival game mixed with a driving game, mixed with a kind of extraction game, I think. And uh, I've played a tiny bit just to just to make sure it all works and to test out the UA, uh, UEVR and everything. And uh, yeah, all seems to be pretty good so far. So I'm looking forward to playing for an extended amount of time for you all right now here on Eurogamer's YouTube channel. This is a PC game, of course, at the moment, uh, but I am playing on a controller. Just easier to use the controller once I start playing in uh, VR and everything as well. So, uh, yeah, let's crack on with Pacific Drive. Um, there is a story to this game, so I guess if you don't want story spoilers, if you want to play this game fresh for yourself, maybe avoid this stream. Otherwise, join me for crafting, hiking, and road maps. And some spooky anomalies. Memorable routes. Here we go. Um, I think I'm good. Oh, I can't believe I don't know. Styled my hair all nicely, and then I put the VR thing on, and because I put hair product in, it's all squished. Never mind. Just get used to the bold look even more, I guess. In 1947, the Olympic Peninsula began the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumors of its utopian creation spread, so did stories about it over 95. Something words. In 1955, the government walled off a section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the zone's borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. Spooktacular. What happened inside was never disclosed. A bit like my pants. Hello to Off World Angel B, Arcadio 89, Big Willem, Damon Jet, David Dunn, Demons Must Die, DMU Girl 2008, Dragon Botherer, Evil Plankton, Fabian Lebin. Deliver, unload, clean K. Duck, stay on the roads. Okay, that's a good idea. Uh, Gavin UK86, Gladys Campos, James Brown, Jan, John O'Neill, Kenneth Raju. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Neil Drew at Nightcap, Phantom Playmaker, Radio Kid, Sebastian Mendoza, Some Guy Sit Down, Ryan Nabil, one of 64 bits, and everyone else who is joining us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Here I am in my car, my beat up station wagon. This first bit is. Whoa. Have I got one of those hydraulics on? This first bit is very much a tutorial section. Teach you how to drive the car, to steer. Shall I uh, obey the American rules of the road and drive on the right? Or shall I go UK and drive on the left? Well, the car is kind of, I guess, the steering wheel's built for right-hand driving. Let's keep going. Hope everyone's well and you've all had a lovely, wonderful weekend. My weekend was fairly chill, not too much exciting to talk about, I'm afraid. But um, 
I'm back now for a week of Eurogamer fun. And we got a fair few... Oh, it's raining. Better put the wipers on. We've got a fair few streams coming up for you this week. Including, I think, Zoe's going to be streaming some Pal World later on this week. We're also going to be streaming some more Lethal Company on Thursday. And Thursday you'll be getting a double stream. Because we're going to be doing a watch-along of uh, Xbox Direct as well. Because we want to see what is on offer there. See what kind of treats we got coming up from the Xbox folks from Microsoft. We've also got... There'll be a VR corner on Saturday as well. Uh, Sunday even. I'm going to be playing a bit of Bulletstorm VR for you, I believe. I guess that's the wall up there. The wall around the exclusion zone. Toot toot. I can zoom in and look if I click in the right thumbstick. Oh, if only there was a way to test out my headlights, seeing as it's, you know, this game, you drive in the dark quite a bit. Oh, here we go. We're going through a tunnel. What an excellent time to test out my headlights. Turn the windscreen wipers off now. I don't need them. Oh, this is very chilled so far. What could possibly go wrong? Quite a quite a nice car as well what I am driving in currently oh, someone's, someone's playing up with the radio this is this is a jazz FM smooth jazz FM where's all the saxophones oh caution guess we're going off road warning when we're going we don't need roads. So let's carry on through here. A little bit bumpy, but, you know, it's good suspension on this thing. I think it's four-wheel drive, so we're fine. What, what, what on earth was that? Lightning. Localised in one, s one central point on the road. More of it. Aurora Borealis this time of day on the Pacific Road. Oh, that, exclu that exclusion wall is, is pretty big, but something tells me it's not excluding things very well at the moment. Because there's, there's a lot of wibble wobble going on here. And oh! Ah, oh, nuts. Oh, I've stalled the car. Okay, let's see if I can... Oh, it's an automatic. What? I tried to put it into drive, but I put it into warp. This is kind of like a drive-by survival horror EA yeah, wanted to. You're right. Yeah, it is a bit. Whoop. Oh dear. Where am I? I seem to have fallen down. Hopefully, I can get back up again. I can. But my vision's a bit wobbly, and that I'm not sure tyres are supposed to do that. Sprint. Why on earth would I need a sprint button? Okay, we've got l lots of luminous green stuff here. I think maybe Slimer from the Ghostbusters has passed through. Spooging his ectoplasm everywhere. Weird snow. Unsettling. B to crunch. Low FOB, FOV, says Nightcat. I don't know. Is there? Uh, 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 bloody hell, it's bit sensitive doing this with the thumbstick. And now I've changed it to Russian. Oh, fuck. <laughs> there we go. I don't know. I've increased the FOV a bit. Yet! Duh. There we go. Hello? Hello? Yes, it is I, Ian from Eurogamer. Huh. What a swine. Uh, 
No, it's it's. I'm here. Don't forget to like and or subscribe. Preferably both. You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. Oh, this car's a bit in better days. Put the wheel back on. It says, "What wheel? This wheel? I guess it means this wheel." Okay, let's install the summer tire. There we go. Get in the car. Okay, it's not as nice as my old car. But it's better than walking, I guess. Okay. Put into drive. Here we go. Oh, this car's got a terrible pull to the right-hand side. It might have a flat tire. Nope. Bloody hell. Yep. Come here! Who swiped my radioactive pepperoni? Yeah, this car's absolutely battered. Ah, really? Could do with some power steering and some tires that are full of air. Wow, jeez. Hi. Ouch. What's that? God damn, I'm staring as hard to the left as possible. There we go. Uh, uh, teleported. Ow! Anus. Springs in this chair and right up my bum. Steer. Steer to the left more. I can't. There we go. Holy crap. This thing's a piece of shit. Going to the right. Stop it. Stop going to the right by yourself. No, stop it. I'm holding left as hard as I can. Ah, uh, trees. Oh, my eyes. I presume that means pain and injury. It just looks like someone sprayed oil in my face. I'll break my controller if I hold to the left any harder. Yeah, it's not as bad when there's a bit of oh, not as bad when there's a bit of speed. But oh, let's put put it in park. Um, okay, I need to I need to get a fuel can from the back of my car here. Here we go. What was that stuck on with? Ew. Okay. Retweet. RT, you see. Retweet to siphon. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that's a bit dark, but that tire is definitely flat. Oh dear. Okay, let's fill up the uh the petrol. Okay, we got some we got some petrol in the car. Let's get in. What was that noise? Oh god. Turn on. Turn on. Put in drive. Okay. Come on. Let's oh, now it's there we go. I don't like the floor being weird like this. Got a stupid flat tire. Come on. If only there was a way later on to make sure that the tire was pumped up so that I wouldn't keep steering to the right. That can't be. There hasn't been one in decades. Look at that spectral fingerprint. Tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. What we should be looking at is how fast this preacher seems to be moving. That game came out last year. Remnant too. That's right. Big turns, big turns. Whoa! Ah! Oh no. 
the green's catching up with me again. Oh, it's not good when the visuals start flickering like that. What the hell? Find a shelter, huh? What? That gate. I'll fix it. I promise. I promise I'll fix it. Oh, I think a wheel just fell off my car. I, I th now I have one flat tyre and one no tyre. Uh, okay, the building. Find a way into the building. Seems to be locked. That's down. Uh, that's locked. Perhaps a little look around. Oh, maybe there's some roof access. Oh, no, wait. Someone's handily left the door open. Wonderful. Oh, it's a Pentium Pro. Flip breaker. Ah, let there be light. And on the first day of the working week, Ian said, let there be light. And there was light. Hello? Oppie? Pick up the backpack from the table. What you gonna do about it? Okay. Put on mechanic's eye. This? Okay. Ooh, first aid. Nice. Pull the car in. Yep. Definitely flat. And yep, definitely no tire. I mean, I kind of like that. Like Alright, let's get out. So, huh. oh. breach, uh, yeah, this car is absolutely battered. Does not understand that I didn't build that 300 meter wall out there for fun. Unless you're one of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Oh yeah, that'd be me, yeah. yeah. Hi. Sorry. Unfortunate Ian, that's what they call me. You're trespassing, and I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. I've heard that on dates before. Oh, oh. God, unfortunately, the barrier wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get Got in as against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those Woo. soft hands of yours. I do have soft hands. Thank you. Uh, right, well, we've, um, we, we've put the wheel on, and according to the top right-hand, uh, menu above me, which you can kind of see, but maybe can't, uh, maybe I should move this to somewhere where you can see the, uh, thingies. Ooh, what am I grabbing there? Is it this? Nope. Is it this? Yeah. There we go. Oh. Uh, so yeah, I have to fix my car and replace a car door. But to do that, I need to add a crude door to my to-do list. So I need to open up the headset. And here's a crude door. And it's plot uh, so where it says Y there, and that means it's now on my to-do list. So let's now close this menu and see. Okay, yeah, gather items from the abandoned car behind the garage for my checklist. So my checklist is now on the left. I need two, like, glass, two nuts and bolts, four milkshakes, and three screws. I don't know why you'd need milkshake. But. Okay, search the abandoned car's trunk. That's, it's locked. Okay. Search the toolbox by the garage for a pry bar. 
Oh, yeah, here you go. Let's have a look inside. So what do we got in there? We've got a, a mechanics kit. A tool... Uh, that looks like a pry bar. There. And duct tape. Ah, duct tape it is. Okay, so I'm going to equip the pry bar, also known as a crowbar. And I'm going to... Oh, jimmy it open. There we go. And inside we've got plastic. Okay, so the... The milkshake is plastic. And then we've got a road flare. Fair enough. And gather items from the abandoned car. Search the dumpster by the garage door for crucial items. Okay. Let's have a look. Oof. Oh, oh something. Hello. What's this? A scrapper, you say? Let's put that in my hand. Ooh. Okay, so using this now... I can scrap parts of this car frame and pick them all up. Get all the bits and pieces I need to craft myself a crude door. Is that weird occasional beeping sound part of the game? Says Gavin. I can't hear any beeping. I have tried this with UEVR Nye, and I will be demonstrating some of it with UEVR um, later on. Uh, near the end of the stream, probably about quarter to five. I'll do, I'll do about 15 minutes in VR. Let's keep doing that. Boop, boop. Okay, I think I've got everything. I don't think I can scrap the fuel tank, can I? It looked like it has a little bit of fuel in there, it says. Okay, so I've got enough now to craft a crude door. So let's go check that out. Uh, okay, crude door. Craft. Okay, crude door. Here it is. I got it. And it looks like I've got to put it on here. I think maybe I can craft a... I think I can craft a... A crude back door for the car as well. Is that one of them? Crude panel, crude bumper. What would it be? I mean, that is technically a door as well. Do you reckon if I get a bit more rubber, I can craft a, a crude um, back back door for the car? I don't know if there's any more tires lying around. God, it's, it gets dark out here. Got anything I can... These look, they've all been stripped. I don't think there's anything else I can... I can salvage around here in terms of tyres. Rubber for now. Unless there's something on there. No. Oh, I can... Oh, okay. So there is... So it's not just cars you can, you can chop up. You can chop up bits of junk that you found lying around. Maybe this cupboard? No. Got to be certain things, I guess. Not everything. What, what in... They want me to look in here. Get the repair putty from the locker. Okay. First aid kit. And that is a spare tyre. Okay. Open inventory. So it probably wants me to do the repair putty. So I'm going to equip the repair putty. And then, oh, okay, I can't do anything with the crude door because I think that's already, even though it looks shagged, I think it's already fixed. Because if you look at the white bar below crude door, that's full, but the spare tire is not full. So I'm just going to chuck a load of sticky white stuff all over it. And this now, somehow, slowly, uh, and rather creepily seems to 
get fixed. There we go. Crude bumper. Is that going to go? Right. Crude bumper, why won't you fix? There we go. Steel panel. Summer tyre. This is just magical repair putty. Nearly got 100% of the car fixed now. Structurally. Okay. Scan the flat tyre. Here we go. This is the this was the cause of my driving issues earlier. So I scanned it. Oh, I want that repair putty. Let's put it in my backpack. Um, so I need to maybe craft a ceiling kit or replace the flat with a spare tire found in the locker. Uh, I think I'll um, might as well craft a ceiling kit. Oh, no, I need more rubber. Can I take this off? Okay, I can take that off. And can I drop it? How drop do? Like that. Uh, right, let's just cut this up. Can I? Is that scrapping crafted item? Is it scrapping it? It seemed to be. Uh... That's a pity, I wanted the rubber. Okay. Uh, wait, where's my spare tire gone? I thought I had a spare tire. Oops. I'm throwing everything on the floor like! When I picked it up, it went in a... There was a slot that said spare tire, but I don't know where that is now. Hmm. Oh, well, I guess I better not destroy this one just yet, then. Unless this is... Hmm. Inventory full. Oh, dear God. Ah! Alright, there's the spare tire. My inventory seems to be full, so what can I... Can I drop stuff? Let's drop the first aid kit for now. Oh. Do I have multiple first aid kits? I have three of them. Okay. Uh, drop, drop. Wait, drop, drop, drop. Now can I pick it up? Oh. Oh. I have to hold it down to put it in my hands. Tap to put in your backpack. Hold down to put in your hands. There we go. So let's fit this new tire. And maybe I can... No, it's already fixed. Okay, scan the loose wheel. Uh, equip the mechanics kit. There's the mechanics kit. So I'm going to equip that. And then I'm going to use the mechanics kit. Oh, around here. Oh, so this tire's the loose one. Ah, this is one that fell off earlier. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, there you go. That's on. Okay. Uh, can I scrap this? Thanks. There we go. All right. Now let's grab some of that. I really want to um, get a, a, a door on the back of my car. I mean, I could do another spare tire, crude bumper, crude panel. I'm going to craft this and see if it can go on the back here, can it? Yes, here you go. There you go. Got myself a, a back door. Alright, search for crucial items in the dumpster. Don't mind if I do. Uh, hold on RB to search. Okay, so there's some more repair putty. Install cardboard boxes in the trunk. Let's put this in. RT. 
Install the crafting mat in the car. There we go. Look at that. Wonderful. Oh, <clears throat> there's a little prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. Arc. Hook it up to your car, wherever it'll fit. This? Okay, got an arc device. It wants me to put it in the passenger seat. What on earth this is, I don't know. Looks like a cool, like, police scanner map this thing. This won't just be your tour guide. It's your North Star and the only way back to safety. Heck, you should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. Okay, so I've got a spare tire now in the uh, boxes in the back. What does it want me to do now? Pick up the gear blueprint. Okay. Oh. And there's another one here. What am I learning? Impact hammer. Use the pump to fill tank with petrol. Where's the... Here we go. Alright, let's go all the way to the top. No more thirsty cars for a while. Excellent. Put you back there. There you go. And throw the switch to charge the battery. Woo! If you're all set, take a look at the projector against the wall. Projector against the wall? This one? This is the zone. Okay. Within these borders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into ten miles of swamp in the blink of an eye, and it does. Constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely oh, surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. Oh. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The arc device in your car will then show you where you need to go. Okay, uh, hold on. Route planner. Uh, a select destination. Travel time three hours. Well, we're here. This is the only destination we have at the moment. Off you go. I'm only streaming for two hours. I don't know how I'm going to get there in time. Uh, hey, Shannon Bennett's from South Africa. Howdy. Okay. Okay, and I think Fangirl is in Texas. It's cold here as well. All right. Get in the car. Oh, look at this. Here you go. Get on the road. Right, so we want to start the car into drive. Fairly simple. Wait. Is this the road I need to go on? Is the right way? I don't know if this is... Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay, this is the right direction. Off we go. We're on. Oh. Whoops. Silly me. Take out a pedestrian with that. Excuse me. Oh, no, I forgot to shut this as well. Ha <laughs> ha. It's almost like I don't drive. Oh, God, I didn't even put the parking brake on. Bloody hell. All right, let's keep going. Woo. Imagine if it was real time, though, says Gavin. Maybe someone will make a real-time mod for this. Okay, what's that? I've just gone past. Oh. Okay. It's, uh... Travel? Okay, so it's not a... It doesn't seem to be maybe a huge open-world map. Maybe it's open-world sections. Or maybe it's not even open-world. Maybe it's just lots of little sections. 
I don't know how open world you can be when you're driving around roads all the time, okay, I guess. Newbie, I'll keep this simple. Don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. <laughs> You'll need Fair. a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. Plasma? The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. So that's those like antenna one. things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. Yeah, that looks like plasma to me. Okay, park in the car. The arc device is picking up on some plasma generators nearby. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator and it'll figure out the tools you need. Okay, so we walk up to it and we scan. Okay. Uh, looks like it's ripe for the picking. Good. Can't get at it with your hands, though. An oh. impact hammer will do the trick. Oh. Uh, well, I do have... Um, Uh, impact hammer. So we want to put that in my notepad to do. Find those materials by any means necessary. No one's coming back ever again. So go on and take what you need. Okay. Transports, homes, outposts, facilities—they've all been abandoned since the zone was decommissioned in April seventh. Scrap all this then. There the next time the instability scrambles the area. So loot to your heart's content. Just uh, hey! Don't need to tell me twice. Okay, I'm looting. I've got everything except for... Oh, I need some glass. Can I loot the window? Can I open this? Oh, I can. Hello. Oh, there's a little computer. It's still working. Consumer electronics. Well, it's not going to be working now. Out of the zone all on your own. They grow so fast, don't they? And I'll be back at the helm. Been a long time, old gal. Didn't think we'd, uh... Talk again after that whole Sasquatch incident. Yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice again. What did you finally talk Francis to death? Hello to you too, Oppy. And no, I'm still here. Okay, so we can you can search inside containers. Like, was that door? Okay, was, could do with a torch, but never mind. What's that noise? That sounds scary. Uh, what am I? S oh, did I get everything? What the? What was? What was that? I don't like the fact that the floor changed. Then. Okay, let's open the door. Can I craft the impact hammer? No. What am I missing? A gas cylinder and a gear. Wait, can I craft any of the other? Can I craft it? I can craft a gear. How many gears do I need? Impact hammer, gear two. I need two gears. Okay. What's that noise? Come up from the ground again. Still looking for a gas cylinder. I presume the thing that says naught out of one underneath the screws where it says three out of three is um, the impact hammer that I'll need. Uh, we got in here. Take everything into like my. Pockets can't carry anything else. Where on earth would a gas canister be? In the back. Smash this up again. Ah, <laughs> quite, quite satisfying. Trashing those things. Sure. Can you not? I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive. I'll keep to the basics, I promise. Oh, they deserve to know them. what they're getting into. Fine. I'm giving you 60 seconds. That is not nearly enough time to get... 55 seconds and counting. Okay, okay, okay. The remnants, in short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. They, they bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. It takes over the victim's mind until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. No one has ever been able to resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. Uh, 
but we know all about the past remnants and oh gosh this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle and the tea that came out of that thing it was and now i'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver Ooh. anything critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset Wonderful. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. Okay, we are still looking for a gas canister, I believe. I don't have a... Pro I don't have a gold gear... Uh, well, where on earth do I find a gas canister from? Carrier engine. <coughs> uh, where are you poking me? It's in the first trailer. Ah. Ah, oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Buttery. Woo, scary. Okay, let's go and craft the cylinder. Uh, the impact hammer. Gotcha! Error, refined materials. Wait, no. Oh, oh, look. Oh, sexy. Smash plasma generators for materials. Ooh. Okay, yoink. And uh, I have to really charge this thing up. There we go. Num, 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 num. Okay, we need to find two more plasma generators then. Let's close the door. Go on another search for some more, huh? Searching plas <laughs> smashing plasma generators seems safe and un unsafe and unwise, says Nightcat. Oh, seems safe and wise. I mean, everything I do seems safe and wise. Where's the road? Oh, it turns out, okay. There it, is. there it is. Helps to, you know, get out and check every once in a while that there's a road. Oh, look at that on the mini-map, actually. Can I look at that bigger? There's a lot. Uh, so I'm right down here at the very beginning, but there's a lot of a uh, lot of buildings to to search and some crazy anomaly things going on over there. Kind of spooky. So if you like survival games and uh, crafting and things like that, I mean this this game seems like it'll be quite appealing. I, I'm caught, I'm into it at the moment. Don't zap me, don't zap me. Okay. Oh. Huh? How do I rev Why you know reverse? Ah. I had it in park. Seems like that's important if you want to get a car moving. Not having it in park. Who knew? Okay. And... Stop. And... Park. And... Get out. Get out quicker. Ooh, ow! Smash! Wonderful. Let your car roll down the hill and then get out and do that dance thing the young TikTokers do, says Gavin. I refuse to know what that 
what that even means. I don't know, that's kind of weird, but pretty. Like me? In a way. Oh, there's another generator up there, actually. This will be enough, won't it? I think this will be my fifth one, if I'm careful, and don't get electrocuted to death. We've got 98% of health at the moment. Gorilla Radio! Turn that shit up. Lights I've loaded out. its approximate location to your map. Ooh. Look for an antenna tower up on a hill somewhere. <laughs> antenna tower up on a hill. Well, it's this one here. Um, maybe there's some off-roading I could do. Different kinds of buildings I could potentially stop in and search. But I think I'm going to go straight to... Um, objective area. I'm just going to ignore, ignore the need for schnaffling loot at the moment, and just see. You know, I, I follow the game. Before what the hell is that? I will follow the game's narrative. I was going to say, but this is weird. Is that a UFO? Ignore that. I'm gonna drive straight. Oh. Oh, the sound of that. Did I anger it? Is it after me? Whoa. Keep your eyes on the road, Higton. Incoming transmission. What the fuck? Oh, there we my, go. My. Where are our manners? Uh, driver. We never introduced ourselves. Not really. Tobias Barlow, former Artem maintenance manager. Oh, and um, here with me is Dr. Francis Cook. I was an uh, R&D scientist researching limb technology right here in the zone. We what? live right in the mid zone. Just, just a hop, skip, and a jump over Ooh. another big old wall from where you're at. Uh. And, and that old bat over there? That's Dr. Ophelia Turner, former director of research and development herself. The mother of limb technology, the maven of electromagnetism. That's enough. Resident party pooper. Okay, is there a way to drive up there? Maybe this road will lead me up to the radio trans. Whoops, sorry about the fence. Oh dear, I'm not very good with fences today. Gates even. Gates aren't keeping people. Out there from stopping in from getting in. Wait, what? I don't know what that means. Is that it? That looks like a big antenna, but I think if I keep following this road, hopefully it'll curve around and there'll be a building up the top, maybe. Maybes, maybes. Go, up we go. My car, you can do it. Stay with me, buddy. Alright. It's the end of the road. Stop the car. Into park. Off with the engine. And get out. Okay, collect materials for antenna. Let's have a look in here, shall we? Got lots of materials there. Inventory's full. I'm going to put some stuff on the back of my car quickly. So, to put stuff in the back of the car, it's RB. And then... I don't know... Hopefully, when you're crafting... You, in the back of the car, at least, you can still use stuff that's in the box, is it? It should make kind of sense that you should be able to, I think, but I guess you never know. Alright. Okay, oh. Time to get moving. The instability's ticking up by the second. But you can't get back the way you came. 
the instability makes all routes one way. And that's where my arc device comes into play. It'll get you back to the garage, but it needs to be charged first. And to do that, you'll need anchors. Take a look at the arc device display. It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the arc device to charge it. You're an uh, anchor. Don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works. You'll be out of here soon, so there's no reason to learn more about limb technology than you need to know. Okay, sounds good. Are these anchors? These circles now? Where was the um, legend? There we go. Anchor signals. Yeah, those things are anchor signals. So if I come back down the road, there are two anchor signals in front of me. Alright. Boom, boom. Recommended. So... The replace parts is just a recommended, like, side mission. Schnaffle as much stuff as I can, so when I get back to the garage, I can hopefully, like, do some upgrades on this station wagon. Make it the best car in the world. Oh, why did I pull off to the right then? Have I got a flat tire again? Oh, it feels like I've got a flat tire. Shit. Hey, Harpy, like, look, I, I keep thinking, the way you're helping our friend here right now seems positively helpful. I, seems like me, you're looking to turn a new leaf or something. The only thing I want to look at is a 12-year-old whiskey and the back of this breacher's head when I sent them packing. But isn't it worth taking a detour to run just a tiny little test? Can't think of a worse way to spend my time. Please. I've seen you manipulate waveforms with your right hand and knock back a double with your left. Or am I to understand you've <laughs> lost your touch? What I'm understanding is that you won't shut the hell up until Man. I test this remnant. <laughs> no, wait. Where's the Fine. front one? Stop crowding my frequency. What? Wait. Really? Harpy, darling. You never give in this easily. What's what's going on? Francis? Uh, y yes? How have there you not thrown him to the bunnies by now? <laughs> 80 years old and only getting sharper by the day. You're a legend. Still a role model. I'm she giving is. you 10 seconds to get out of my... Okay, okay, okay. We're signing off. Hey, driver, good luck out there. Uh, and watch out for the bunnies. They are a doozy. The bunnies? Sound cute. Okay, so I've got a flat tire there. That was... Hastily fixed by creating a sealant kit while everyone chatted nonsense, but I probably need to scavenge a lot more items if I'm going to make any more of them. Go past this blockade? Driving off road, I think. There we go. We got it. We got it. We're through, we're through. Oh, what's this thing? Oh, that's just... That's come out of the ground. Okay, we're very close to a couple of these signals now. But also, some creepy stuff is happening. Yeah, don't like it. Look at these tourists. Dictaphone recording. Dumpster pearl. Okay, I've got some stuff in the truck. Use arc device map to locate and drive to an anchor site. I mean, is this this is this an anchor site? I guess maybe I didn't park in an anchor site properly. Not sure. I'll do some looting and then go back to my car and check. No, 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 no. no. Oh. Oh no, my scrapping machine broke. Fuck. 
That's not good. Does that work? Can I crowbar it off? Oh. Yeah, I can. It's so dark in, in these buildings. It would be great to have a head torch of some kind. Nope. Num, num, num. Something bad sounds like it's happening. I don't know. Alright, let's go back and check. Just says use arc device to locate and drive to an anchor site. It doesn't tell me really what I'm supposed to do then. Oh, okay, so. Well, let's just go. Off road slightly. Oh, maybe it's this yellow streak here. Maybe this is an anchor site. This looks like something important. I've got a flat tire again. Okay, yes. Take the anchor. Those anchors may look like glowing balls of magic, but it's Limtech through and through. Don't be scared. They haven't exploded in anyone's face. Why now? Recently. Oh. The floor's gone nuts. Feed the anchor device. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Why is it... Why is it throwing it on the floor? Okay. Okay, that's, that's done something. Bit of power. The arc device is charged and ready. You'll use it to open a gateway back to the garage, oh. but it will immediately collapse the stability around you. Oh. So only activate when you are absolutely ready to leave. You do not want to get caught in the storm that follows. Okay, select gateway coordinates on the map. Link gateway. Link gateway hold. This one's. Alright. Okay, that says drive. Uh, alright. You see that glowing pillar into the sky? Yeah. Drive into it. Okay. Yes, it looks like hot death, but it's so much better than getting instability. Okay, we've definitely gone off road. I don't want to get instability t t to death. Sounds painful. Get there going this way. That is. I'm not sure I want to drop. Oh god. I'm not sure driving into that is something I want to do. So I'm driving into a satellite laser beam. Satellite fired laser beam. Ah! I got a minute. we go. And we're back at the garage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, well. Oh, you're, you're alive. alive. Thank you. I'm certain if the zone didn't get you, that gateway would. Mm. Hmm. Did I not mention that you're the first human I've sent through that thing? I mean, what? Like rodents, but it's not like it's complete. Unbelievable. But anyway, it worked. So, you should have made it back with everything you collected out there. That's the beauty of the gateway. It's the only way to get back with all your marbles intact. Now, take those parts you found into the back room. I'll let you use my fabrication station. Ooh, but fabrication now, station. That station will concoct ways for you to rig up anything from roof racks to flare guns. Assembling an antenna with those parts you brought back should be easy as pie. But it requires anchor juice to work its magic, so bring back as many as you can. 
And just because What's I haven't that? used that garage in decades doesn't mean you can trash the place. Mess up my equipment and I'll throw you to the anomaly I'll so quick you'll get Mess up your crash. equipment. Be clear. Oh, impact hammer. Oh. So you don't let go, you just have to hold down and it does it automatically. Okay. And smash! There we go. Got myself a little excellent little room. Oh, there's loads of stuff. What's that? One swift tuck. You can lock a car's real weird. Where is that? So what is a dumpster pearl? Slice a pearl in half, you'll find thousands of eyes of precious materials formed around a core. Break my eyes apart, who knows what will pop out. Are these crude panels. Oh, I got a handbrake. Oh, so I can install the handbrake into the car, maybe. Yes. Can I? Where would I put it? Nope. What am I currently holding? Handbrake, yeah, okay. So where would I put the handbrake? I don't know. I'm going to put this back in the cupboard for now. <laughs> It'll probably tell me. There we go. It'll probably tell me in a minute. Okay, fabrication station. Scanning antenna. Confirm. Okay, scanning antenna kit. Here we go. Pick that up. Yeah, install the antenna on the roof. Sweet, okay. Well, I know that there's a way up on the roof already, because I thought this was initially the way to get into the garage. But it's not! This is the way. This is the way. And then install here. Ooh. Oh. 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 Wow, finally building things in real life is so easy. This has got a cooling fan on it as well. Car maintenance. Install handbrake. There we go. See, I just needed to be patient. Okay, what is... So there's a door, a crude panel, a crude bumper. Sorry. I got impatient. I want the bumper. There we go. Nice crude bumper. Now we're going to get the handbrake. This will show me where I'm supposed to place it, I'm sure. Oh, under the hood. Huh? Handbrake. There we go. Be sure to empty your trunk before heading back out. Empty You'll need your this trunk. space. Okay. Friendly dumpster. Oh, nice. What's that? Cargo trunk. Can this go in here? Cargo trunk. That's and awesome. we're patched. Everything's in working shape, more or less. I've hooked up the antenna to the route planner. Give it a look after you're done peeping through my garage. Cargo trunk empty. Where can I put the cargo trunk then, can I, it's not like I can install it anywhere in here, use cargo trunk to unload, oh here we go, L unload collected materials, right, okay, okay, I get you, so pick it up, go on there, and then, Unload all the collected materials. Okay, but I do actually want to keep the spare tire in there. 
Uh, store materials in garage storage. Where would that be? Would that just be one of these? Oh, do I just then go blah 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 blah? 76 out of 104. Okay, so then if I go here, then I can. Chuck these things in. There you go, nice. Okay, my tyres are not all in good condition. So, I need to get some repair. Party, we've got headlights in good condition. Only one of my headlights is in good condition. So, do I have a repair putty? I do. Let's equip that. Go to my headlight and scan it. Alright. Maybe I need to put a bulb in there or something. My putty doesn't seem to be doing anything. Bloop. says one of my tyres isn't in good condition. Tyres in good condition three out of four. Hmm. Headlights in good condition one out of two. Well that headlight seems to be working but I'll fix them up. Or well, maybe I actually have to make... I think I have to actually build a headlight. So can I... Oh, I threw my stuff on the floor. Bloody hell. Let's see if I can... Make a headlight? Crude headlight. Here you go. Make a bulb. Okay, so I made a bulb automatically. And I've made the headlight. And then I can install the headlight, like so. Sweet. Looks slightly different to the other one, but that's good. Spare tyre. I'm, I'm unsure which of my tyres is bust. Sweet summer tyre. Heavy duty. What? what are we looking at? Loose wheel. Ah, okay, it's this one. So I need a mechanics kit to fix that one, which I don't have, so I'm going to have to... Unless there's one in here anymore. No, I'm going to have to create a mechanics kit as well by going to the workbench. Crafting a mechanics kit. Looks like everything I've collected, as long as it's stored in the garage, I can use to, to make things, which is nice. So now we mechanics kit this loose wheel. That's all good. Steel door. So I need to fill the tank. That's nice and easy to do. Just pick this up, ever. And poke it in the slot. And put that back. Charge the battery. Ah, so I need to... Pack some survival tools in the back of the car. 
the scrapper. Is that the scrapper? No. Uh, I thought. Oh, maybe I put the scrapper in here. Did I? I don't know what this is. A dumpster pearl. Wait, let's scan it. Cracked, fix. Ceiling kit. I want to fix this dumpster part. I don't know what this thing is. Uh, all right. RV workbench. Oh, I don't have enough duct tape. I cannot, for the life of me, remember where my um, thing was. Hand vac. Okay, that's repair part. I'll take that. Great panel. Let's take all this stuff. Canned food. So now I can put repair putty in the car. And that should have... Okay, there's four that... Whoop. Why am I glowing? I think I healed myself with some food that I picked up by accident, potentially. Battery jumper. How do I make a battery jumper? Like so. How many of these do I need to put in, though? Comes with one. Okay, that's cool. Road flare. I think I did pick up some road flares. Here we go. Okay, road flares. Just prepping myself up for my journey. Okay, the scrapper. I don't know where the scrapper... Oh, there it is. So we'll put the scrapper in. There. Dumpster pearl. Oh well, I'm going here. Ah, uh, dumpster pearl. Where did you go? There you go. You can go in there. What else was it I needed? Charge the battery, repair the car. Panels, doors, and bumpers installed. Something. Ah, so I need to make some panels. Some crude panels. Crude panel. I need more duct tape from somewhere. Maybe I can fabricate some? I don't think I can, but... Wait, what's that? Is that a panel? Oh, nice. This'll be good. This'll help. Just need one more panel on the edge. Let's see. Anything else going to come out of here that I need? Chemicals. There's no duct tape. Uh, but it will we'll have to do. Putty. Power up the car a bit. That's ninety one per cent. I think most of the damage I think it wants me to make another crude panel, but God knows where I'm gonna get some duct tape from. What am I doing? I want to take out the scrapper. Equip. Let's see if there's anything I can... Here we go. Oh! Here we go. We're going to get some stuff from this.
Where else can we chop? I don't know which parts you can chop. That's a fuel tank. There we go. These panels and things. Steel sheet, huh? Okay, none of this seems to be duct tape at the moment. Not sure why you'd get duct tape from a tyre, but it's worth a try, I suppose. Harder fuel tank. Apples. Oh, balls, my scrap is broken. Hmm. What is this? RP's jukebox. Can I open this? No, don't know the code. If I was duct tape, where would I live? Survival tools. Oh, buddy. Large fuel cans. Gear. So these are all things I can upgrade after a while. Oh, I know how to make summer tires now. Steel sheet. So I can make a steel sheet. Oh, this game looks like it's suddenly got quite in depth. steel thing yet. So I could take a summer tyre. Where was that? Oh, these are blueprints. Okay. Okay, so now I know how to craft those kind of things. Vargas vacuums. Hmm. So then I should be able to do... Yeah, here you go. Summer tyre now. I could um, craft... And then I could put this. This is the tire that keeps going flat. So let's... Um, can I remove this one? There we go. Get rid of that. And pick this summer tire up. Put it on. There you go. Uh... Tries and poop. Steel sheet. Let's charge the battery at least. I wonder if I can live without one of those bumpers, if it will let me go. Let's see. I'm going to have to find duct tape on my mission. Okay, car maintenance. Oh, well, it, car maintenance is recommended, I guess. So, here we go. car abilities. Used screen on left side of dashboard to assign car abilities. Ooh. Abilities equipped. Handbrake. Oh. Have the handbrake on the select option. There you go. So if I press A now, I'll be able to do a cool handbrake. And then uh, zoom. Zoom out. How do I? How do I zoom out? That says 100%. I can't go north, can't go south. Select a destination. Plan your drive. Investigate the zone. Oh. 
I think I've got to go and do that on the wall, haven't I? Over here. Close that. Well, much as I'd like to send you on a one-way trip out of here, Tobias won't let me hear the end of it if I don't test your car for this remnant thing. But we can't do that by staying put. And the instability's made a mess of the roads here. Our maps get outdated as quickly as we draw them. Luckily, you've got those wheels and my genius. So here's the plan. With that antenna fixed, you can now detect stabilized road junctions in the outer zone. Ooh. The Octavice will chart the roads as you drive and allow us to find ways to get you where you need to go. But you have to make it back with the data intact, and only returning to the garage through a gateway will do. So, get driving. And don't forget to fix up your car as you go. Okay, I have E5. I'm sure what any of these things mean. These... Brown ones are question marks, not sure. That's travel time, three hours, three hours. Let's, unless these are routes that will open later on after I've done something specific. Let's pick this as my next route. Okay, so the, the garage door's open. Let's get in. This is going to show me the right way. I think I need to come out and go left. Just let people know I'm coming out. Alright, let's try my handbrake. I guess that worked. The wipers off, don't need them. It's lovely out. Here we go. Oh yeah, we're going for 60 miles an hour. Whoop, whoop. And loading. Okay, this is where we're heading to. Okay, scan five anomalies or resources. I've already scanned four out of five, uh, which is nice. You need to survive in here long enough to find a way out, and you can't do that without learning what to avoid. Why don't you make use of that headset scanner on your drive? Learn a thing or two while you're at it. Okay. Popped in. Park. Let's get out of here. So this is quite a uh, more slower pace than I imagined at the moment. The trailer that uh, was shown, I can't remember what it was shown, Some, was it Summer Games Fest? Oh. The remnants are like us in a way. Those of us who chose to stay behind, we are as discarded and forgotten as they look a bit more action-packed. chose to stay, you mean actively defying government orders to evacuate? Then yes. You remember how we went without electricity for four months to dodge the clearing crews? Uh, there's, like, what? Only a hundred of us left? If even that. Frankly, I'm surprised so many house? of us were unable to move on for one reason or another. Oh, speak for yourself. I'm here for the hunt. Hey, even better now there's no one to get in our way. Okay. Ah, so, things you can search seem to handily glow. I got some duct tape finally. What are those I just picked up? Canned foods. That'd be for health. Consumer electronics. Okay. Not too much in that building. Ooh. Press the wrong button. Hey, thanks for supporting the channel, Crit Keeper! High five! It's more like Firewatch with a car, says Gavin. Yeah, kind of, I guess. Firewatch didn't have as much survival stuff, but the, the chatter on the radio definitely has a Firewatch vibe to it. I presume the more you play, the 
the the more difficult it'll get, the more scary it'll get, the more panicky it'll get. I definitely the trailer kind of made it feel like a quite a, a horror or gave it quite a horror vibe. So I could go off road by turning to the left, but I want to keep on road because there's a big big selection of houses here that I think will be worthwhile searching. Floating anomalies. Can I take a photo of that? Can I scan that? That might. Whoa, 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 wee, wah, woo! Oh, Jesus. Okay, up. Oh, fudge. Did that not scan? There you go. Stopped in a bad place. Don't let these junctions fool you. They're as moody as the rest of the zone and will turn on oh. you in a second. Most junctions are pit stops on the way to other destinations. Only some are stable enough to open a gateway without collapsing in on itself. Each oh. is needy in their own way and must be treated accordingly. The, the ARC device needs different charge levels to overcome the conditions for a gateway. You'll have to feed anchors to the ARC device until it's satisfied, and she'll tell you how many she needs at any given time. The junctions in the road are living? That's quite bizarre. Pick up there. Hey, driver, not to be a down or nothing, but uh, I'm wondering what we do if you can't find a way out of the zone. Yeah, me too. They got themselves over the wall. They'll find a way to survive here like the rest of us. So I need two Not arc charges be my to return to the auto shop this I time. I hardly call what we're doing here surviving. Ugh, look, hey, both of you always going on and on about putting up with this, ensuring that. There's more to life than that, you know? You, for example, Arpy, you're brilliant. You controlled fundamental forces of nature with your fingertips. Both of you did. <sighs> so slow down there, kid. We were scientists, not superheroes. Oh, yeah, I mean, look, hey, to someone who was all thumbs when it came to science, they're one and the same. I just don't understand why you're wasting away here, borrowed away in the zone. Both of you, you're sitting on so much lost potential. Potential is a carrot on a stick for the young. An illusion to keep you forging on. You should have given up long ago. Balls the smash has gone. technology. And look what it did to the Olympic Peninsula. What I did. Well, ow, 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 ow. Oh, good. Ow, ow, ow. All we can do is survive. Everything else is moot. I forgot what a charmer you are, RB. An absolute living ray of sunshine and optimism. Okay, so. The arc charges are the circles on the map. This thing here, I don't know if this... If I should be worried about it, it's going to be growing and expand. It looks like it might be expanding over the map, so maybe I have to do the looting and uh, getting out of here before that kind of encompasses the map. And I'm screwed. Uh, oh, tits. I need to make. Another one of those smashes. What's it called? Uh, impact hammer. <gasps> crap, 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 crap. Uh, gear. I can craft, surely. Yeah. Impact hammer. What else do I need? Gas cylinder. I thought I had a gas cylinder. Oh, shiza. Must have... Must have got rid and put it in the the garage back at home. It is crappy weather. Uh, oh, I just what have I got in my hand now? This is a first aid kit. What is that? Oh, a crude bumper. I don't really need a bumper. 
I've already got one. I do need to heal up a bit, though. Let's heal up. And fingers crossed we can find some gas cylinders. In here. No. No. But no, we normally in those research sheds, weren't they? But... I feel like a garage would be a good place to find a gas cin uh, cylinder. Cosmetics? Ooh. What's that that just fell out? Oh. The record player. Don't see any gas cylinders in here yet. Maybe I need to go to one of those research um, sheds. I definitely can't get in here. These these doors seem to be locked up. Locking these buildings up tight. Oh, nice storage box. Is that another crude bumper? Oh, I don't need a crude. Alright, so I'm not going to bother. Oh, that's... Okay, I don't like the look of my visuals going distorted like that. It makes me feel like I've stayed in a place too long. Oh, yes, look. That, um, that zone. It's, it's, it's moving across the map, and actually I'm moving into it. So I might... get out of here. Had a different way from that weird pulsating fuck! Oh! Oh no. That was... The, the, the ground came up and got me there. It's probably battered my car. Yeah, front of my car. Look on there. See, front of my car shagged. The best course of if that big spooky mass is moving north, then probably I need to take the road coming up off road and try and get those anchor points or whatever they're called at the south because they're going to be coming out of that green mass soon. Am I following the road? Just about. I presume driving off-road like this will damage the car way more than if you're driving on normal roads. On the plus side, my plan was correct. There is a anchor pointy thing, whatever they're called, appearing at the bottom right of the green area. Oh, what the, what the, what the, what the? My car's malfunctioning. I got a bit too close to whatever that weird thing was. Okay, it's very slow through the water. Ooh. I like the sound of my car going through that water. Do it again, though. Which way does the road go? Is it this way? This way. Where we're going, we don't need roads. We're going to need boats instead. I don't like the fact that my car keeps shouting at me. <laughs> Battered my bumper now as well. Okay. Right, where is it? We're in one of these. Oh. Stop rolling! Shit. Ooh. 
We're in a zone. Mysterious audio log. So that was... So it might have been an anchor signal, but it was actually a radio broadcast. Uh, so I guess I'm going to need to check this anchor signal. But I think because we're getting close to... Um, we're getting close to 5 o'clock now. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, demonstrate this in VR using Praydog's Unreal Engine VR mod. So um, bear with me a second while I get that set up. It should be fairly simple once I've got my uh, headset on. All I need to do is Alt-Tab and there we go, Pacific Drive's already selected. I just have to press Inject. And there we go. Look at that. Bloody magic. No, I don't want to return to the garage. Turner is standing All right. next to President Koch. The top of Here we go. Barely clearing his shoulder. Frame rate might have lowered a little bit now, just because, uh, you know, I'm in VR now. But look, that's... Um, he does not appear to breathe until a ball of light appears out of This is in VR now. The sight is tremendous. No um, motion controls because I haven't. Well, this game isn't even out yet. So no one's done any uh, motion control configs for it or anything. Whether that'll be possible or not, I don't know. I can still control it with a controller though, so I get the uh, immersion of VR, and it'll just be you know I'm I'm happy to play VR games with controllers. Um, but yeah, as you can see, just moving my head around is now the camera. Oh. I've uh, unplugged my Crescent cable by doing that. Sorry, hold on. Uh, then she recedes into the bowels of a government research facility. She's never seen again in public. There are scant appearances here and there in blanketiness of promotional videos and blatant propaganda fodder. And then she and the promise of Lynn technology disappear. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Oh, I'm in my. I got my parking brake on. How do I? So how does that work? So this hasn't been tested to work in UEVR yet, and um, I feel like I'm one of the first people to ever play this game in UEVR. And one of the first things I'm noticing, while it does give me VR capabilities, one of the first thing I'm noticing is that the uh, the UI has disappeared from the interior of the car, so I don't know whether I'll actually be able to control things very well. That's me holding the radio. Let's have a little walk around and have a look. Okay, that's... Yeah, I don't like the... No, I don't like the look of this. Okay, let's get back in. So I need to kind of... There is a white dot, actually, just in front of my eyes, a little white crosshair, which is where I need to look to make the UI uh, pop up for things like turning on the parking uh, brake and everything. But here we go. I'm driving in Pacific Drive in VR, a game that was probably not designed to be played in VR, or at least not like created for VR functionality. Um, it's just the demo, but thanks to Prey Dogs mod, I am able to experience Pacific Drive in VR at literally the click of a button, as you, as you spotted there. Um, I want to... Where's... Oh, there's the arc reactor. Ball bags. Is this going to be too deep to drive through? Am I going to completely flood the car engine here? 
probably, but the, the anchor point, not the arc reactor, the anchor point is through here. Hopefully it'll be like Fortnite and all the water is just shallow enough to drive through. Going kind of slowly, but I like that I can look out, stick my head out the windows and drive in. See the rear view mirror, the wing mirrors, the rear view mirror up there. Look around the interior of my car, nicely scaled as well. Perfect uh, sort of game for playing seated as well. All right, where is my crosshair? There it is. So put that in parking and open the door. So what makes this game a bit weird to control in VR is that the head, the um, my vision isn't controlling where the uh, the crosshair is. I have to use the right thumbstick to do that, which feels a little bit weird. It's all right for me, but I feel like someone new to VR would not enjoy that feeling. I've got this though. So now wander over here, open up the door and plop it in. That arc device will get sucked up into that. Oh, my car's slipping. And now I need to get one more arc device. To be able to go. So now I can like lean in and look at my computer and you know, it's like oh, uh, Where's my crosshair? There it is. I need to go up here now. Okay. So find a, so it's a little bit hard to find that white dot there, but when I've got that white dot, position it just over the parking brake, and it goes, and I can use the thumbstick to put my vision back into like a natural position. And then I just uh, I just got to go off road. It's still looking all right for you lot, just about. Uh, yeah, I can scale the um, the resolution down. I don't know what that noise, that siren is. I can scale the resolution down on the fly. Um, get rid of that. Let's put the resolution down in my headset a bit, probably a little bit for you lot. Might have improved the frame rate slightly. It's definitely made um, the visuals for me look uh, a lot fuzzier than they were before. But there are so many options in Prey Dog's UEVR mod. Um, storm warning, uh-oh. Oh, I'm supposed to get out of here before the storm hits, right? So there are so many options in Prey Dog's UE VR mod for tailoring the VR to your specific needs and wants that uh, there is a, the potential for um, getting this running nicely. Oh, tits. Not enough power in my car. Oh, God. <laughs> Not enough power in my car to get up that inc incredibly steep slope. Maybe that's made the improve the frame rate for you lot. I don't know. I think the trouble with capturing in VR is that you, you the viewers, will always kind of get half the frame rate that I'm seeing. Whether the resolution is high or not, because I'm seeing, technically I'm seeing double what you're seeing. You're only capturing one eye. You're only seeing the capture of one eye. Whereas I've got two eyes rendering. Oh, shit. So, that might mean I get a steadier frame rate than you lot do. Is that storm? No, it still says storm warning. I don't see an arc thing yet, an anchor point yet. It's a big zone. Oh no, there it is, it's up there. Oh shit me, this car is not built for this kind of terrain. 
There's a road just down there, though. I'm gonna park this bad boy on the road where it's safe-ish. Uh, and so then I need to find that, put that in the park, get out. I need to run over here. Grab. Take this back to the car. Pop that on there. Where is that? Okay. And now I need to open. Ooh. Open a gateway using the arc device. Okay, so now I need to find my thing. There we go. So, we've got one point there. Gateway to... What's that? Close. Ah, so you can only link gateways at a certain distance away. Okay. Her, oh, shit. That's the storm. Oh, God. Okay. That's not good. Link gateway. Does that do it? There we go. Okay. Right. Oh, I just turned the car off. Oh no. I'm panicking. Alright, can I make it back to this thing? Oh dear god. Can I make it back to where I need to go? Oh! My car's malfunctioning. There's that storm. Come on, turn to the left. Oh, piss. Oh, bad, bad stuff's happening now. Oh, man. This storm is causing my car to go on the fritz quite badly. I need to go off road. I believe the area I need to head to is that blue dot. So I'm going to have to take a, a right turn. Yeah, there it is. Where are we going? Oh, shit. That spam me out. Come on, car. Come on, little car. Come on, little remnant. You can do it. Oh, fudge. This is a big, big storm. Danger, danger. Come on. Into the bright yellow thing. Out. <laughs> Made it. Made it. Oh, yeah. And there we go. My car is absolutely battered. But. Ready to make this remnant verification a one and done thing? I'm in. I'm sending you to visit Colossal Cappy. If that old anomaly doesn't induce electromagnetic resonance in your car, then we're free from Tobias's fever dreams and we can get you out of here. You've got a stable route heading straight to Cappy's front door, but the energy readings are off the roof. I advise you not to take the zone lightly. You better gear up or you may not survive the trip. Which would make my life easier, so... Hmm. Your call. Well, I think I'll leave it here. We've seen quite a chunk of this game. It is, um... Yeah, it's fairly more... It is, I'd say it's fairly slower paced than the, uh, the trailer that originally came out made it look. But it's got a great spooky vibe. Um, it does have a bit of a firewatchy feel to it but there's a lot more action than firewatch going on huge amount of survival stuff uh, lots of crafting menus and you know areas where you can upgrade items like all this stuff you know, upgrade you can make dice or something for your car <laughs> junction stabilizers oh they, okay they stabilize junctions and stuff yeah, it looks like there's a huge amount going on with this game. So if you like survival games and crafting games, then 
This one uh, should definitely be one to keep an eye out on. I've really enjoyed playing it, actually. Oh, look how battered my car was. The light I made is gone. The front bumper's fallen out. The hood's gone. Shit. I don't think I scavenged very much stuff, either. And, yeah, going into these areas looks like there's kind of a time limit to it. So it's almost like an extraction shooter, but... Oh, an, ex an extraction looter, I'd say, I, I, I should say. Uh, the fact that it kind of works in Prey Dog's UEVR mod as well is pretty damn awesome. Like I said, this is just the demo. It's not the full game. Most of the people, or probably all of the people that have been making um, uh, profiles and configs for Prey Dog's mod, they probably even have, haven't even been able to have a go on this game yet. So... Hopefully, people on the flat to VR Discord will be able to, you know, have a fiddle with this game once it comes out properly. Uh, end of February, I think February 22nd it comes out. And, you know, make a good config for this so it runs nicely. Uh, but in general, yeah, uh, pretty awesome game. Uh, especially for survival game fans. Nice little twist, having to keep your car running as well. I like that better than just you know wandering out or well, more interesting i think than just wandering out coming back and making a base you've almost kind of got two bases you've got a base on wheels and then you've got this garage base as well but yeah uh i like it so keep an eye out on this one uh if 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 you are of similar minded to me there is um yeah this is coming out february 22nd and yeah, what's the year of the extraction game? You know, I don't. I know you Londoners don't really drive, but geez, man, this car is knackered. I ain't from London. I'm from Oxford. How dare you? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's great. I I really like it. So yeah, one to keep an eye out for. And the fact that you can play it in VR at the click of a button, thanks to Prey Dog, is pretty damn cool. So yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Coming up tomorrow. I think Zoe's got a review for Pal World. We've got uh, Zoe is planning a Pal World live stream on Wednesday. We've got more Lethal Company coming up on Thursday. I'm going to be hosting the Lethal Company stream on Thursday because I'm going to be playing it in VR. I just oh, I just oh, cool. I just turned my headset off um, and it's gone back to flat. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Um, yeah, I'm going to be play I'm going to be uh, hosting it and playing Lethal Company in VR, so you'll get to see what that's like going. Going to be terrifying. We're also going to live stream our reactions to the Xbox Direct. I think it's called. Is it Xbox Direct? It's at eight o'clock on Thursday as well. So you get two streams from us on Thursday. And then you've got VR Corner on Saturday. Uh, Sunday as well. So plenty to look forward to here on Eurogamer. So do like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to Eurogamer for almost daily videos about video games. And I'll see you soon here for more video gamey shenanigans. Bye everyone. Thanks much for keeping up and safe. Bye bye.